Okay, there's one more thing we need to go over before we read and write to data sets. So I have the same project we created in the last video and I'm going to get rid of these lines here and uncomment this one and change that. We're not going to need a new data set and we're not going to need these drivers this driver <coughs> okay so one thing we need to talk about is how to get information from a data set like the number of rows the number of columns the no data value statistics and the transformation information so I'm going to set up a couple of variables here we need the number of rows the number of columns um, we need the no data value um, and let's start with that for now so we're going to use this data set p old ds um, we're going to get the band we're going to get raster band 1. Get X size. So that gets the number of elements in the X direction, which is going to be the number of columns. So N calls equals that. Um, and rows is going to be the same thing. Get raster band, we're going to do get Y size. Um, the no data value same thing get no data value there's an argument you can put in there I'm not going to worry about it okay so there is how we get all those things now we also need to get the affine transformation data so that's going to be like the top left corner coordinates and the cell cell width and cell height and any offset information so get geo transform is what we're looking for and it takes um, an array a six element array so we'll create a six element array here transform sorry transform okay so there's what we have um, now let's go through and print all this out to make sure it looks normal. So, queue debug, calls, rows, um, no data. and then I can't remember exactly which elements we have in there so let's do this let's pull up um, gdal.org and if we go to classes gdal dataset we want to find git geotransform right here and here it tells us. So one is the pixel width, five is the height, the x coordinate is zero, the y coordinate is three. Okay, so one, five, zero, and three. So let's go ahead and put those in. Transform 
one. We'll just copy and paste this. One five zero three. Okay, let's actually start a new line here, and this is going to be width. This is going to be height this is going to be x this is going to be y if I got that right okay now let's take a look Okay, so this is right. My data set has 270 columns, 730 rows, the node date is negative 999. The cell size, the width is 1, the height is negative 1. So whenever you have your y coordinate be the top left corner, the height is going to be negative 1 because it relates back to your coordinates. So if you started in the upper left corner at address 0, 0, if you go to address 1, the y-coordinate is going to be the height times your current y-coordinate. So it's going to reduce it um, by a cell size every time. So it's going to be a negative value. Um, everything looks good there. So that is how you get the basic information from one of these data sets.